Trump says he can complete a wall by 2020. You're a fucking nut. You're a goddamn liar. You're a piece of fucking shit. There's not even a fuck. Trump, this is clearly, so you're trying to use this to get reelected now, right? You're, poor me is what you tweeted this morning on Christmas Day. Poor me. Poor, no, poor us, Trump. Poor us American citizens that have to deal with you as the president. You fucking jackass. God damn, you're such a fucking idiot. Look at this. What'd you say, Shay? That's an insult to donkeys. Well, I'll tell you this much, Kay. President Trump's certainly not instilling any confidence in the stock market. First, you all heard about that report over the weekend where the president questioned if he has the legal authority to fire Jay Powell because he blames the... The stock market's plummeting because of you, you fucking moron. You were given a good economy by Obama. It was a great economy. All you had to do was put your fucking feet on the desk and just do like this, Trump. Just be like, uh, yeah, I got this. Obama made everything good. I'm just going to ride the Obama wave. But instead, the worst economic turndown in Christmas history ever, ever. What the fuck is wrong with you? How can you take a surplus economy, creating thousands upon thousands of fucking jobs, and turn it upside fucking down in less than two years? You fucking moron. She's eating cake. Shay's eating cake. I'm enjoying it too. Well, I'm trying to. I can't really enjoy it because I'm hurt. But I'm trying. Interesting moment to point this out on the wall over here. Because I think it applies to what we're saying. If not us, who? If not now, when? It's time that we stand up and just recognize the fact of the truth. Our president. Is a complete and utter fucking jacket. No. no. Calling him a jackass is an insult to donkeys. Our president is a complete and utter maggot. Is that okay? Is he, <laughs> we can insult the maggots? No. Yeah. <laughs> Trump, you're such a maggot. Then I have to question, is it insulting to maggots to call you a maggot? Anything you call him is insulting to whatever it is. Yeah, I agree. Donald Trump, you're a fucking piece of shit. But that's almost insulting to feces. Yeah. Especially if it's my feces. Because I know nothing that comes out of my asshole as bad as you. Nothing. Nothing. Not even my shit. That's pretty bad. That's pretty fucking bad. <laughs> His shit. Oh my god. Okay, okay. <laughs> I mean, but it's, it's really... It's like the fucking Little Wayne song. I'm just playing. No, I'm serious. I'm just playing. I'm so serious. Yeah. I'm so sad. I'm so fucking serious. You're worse than the worst feces that comes out of my asshole when I'm sick. When I'm sick. You're like that runny, gooey, fucking green, fucking Ugh. colored shit. Please stop. What'd you say? I said please stop. That is nasty. So is Trump. Trump's really fucking nasty. He shut his own fucking government down to prove a fucking point. Then goes on national television and, and, and says he can't do anything about it. He'd rather not be doing shutdowns. Are you hearing this? Uh, I wasn't able to be with my family. I thought it would be wrong over a wall. Oh, you poor thing. He'd rather be with his family. He'd rather be in Palm Beach. He's a str It's a hard struggle to be Trump. <laughs> Hang out at the Monalonga, whatever the fuck that place is called. Stay out until you get the funding for the wall. 
No one has said that to you, Trump. Those are the voices in your motherfucking head. The quack doctor. He needs to go to the quack doctor. This ain't got nothing to do with Democrats or Republicans, you fucking moron. Republicans think this is a stupid idea, too. You're a fucking idiot, Trump. A fucking idiot. Quit your fucking lying. You're on national TV. People can see you lying right now. Exactly what we're talking about. As little as three years ago. But over the years, every one of them. The only time they went against it. The only no one has ever been for no fucking border wall. This fucking lying piece of fucking shit. I wish lightning would strike this motherfucker dead. It's like, take another example. Take Comey. Everybody hated Comey. They thought he did a horrible job. No one hated Comey. What the fuck is this crackhead on about? This fucking drug haven crackhead. He's clearly on fucking drugs. Until I fired him. And once I fired him, everybody said, oh, why did you fire him? Why did you now, if everybody said the first thing, then how did everybody see the second thing? Were they all arguing with themselves? He, he, he's, he's delusional. This dude is fucking delusional. As soon as I fired him, they said, oh, why did you fire him? Well, that was a terrible thing to do. Yeah, of course it was a terrible thing, Trump. You are a disgrace. It's a disgrace. He loves to say, it's huge. It's huge. It's absolutely huge. How much you're fucking stupid? It's huge. It's absolutely fucking huge how much you're fucking stupid. There, it's a disgrace what's happening in the country, he says. But other than that, he wishes all of us a very merry Christmas. I'm back now with Happy Philip. Yeah, it's all fucking disgraceful. But, you know, other than that, a merry, merry fucking fucking Christmas. Fed chair for the market meltdown. And a tweet you just showed from a short time ago blaming the Fed. That actually helped to cause the Dow to accelerate its losses. I'll tell you what, it made the shortened trading session today anything but sweet. Anything but fucking sweet. The fucking stock market is falling through the goddamn floor. It didn't have to happen. This shit didn't have to fucking happen.